Hey all, Alex from Music Hub here, and today we're going to do a quickie review of the 1995 biography of Henry Purcell by Jonathan Keats, fittingly titled Purcell, A Biography. Henry Purcell, born around the 10th of September 1659 in London, died the 21st of November 1695 in London. An enormously important composer in the history of Baroque music, developing an entire style of theatrical composing that became immensely popular in England for its brevity compared to the longer-form Italian operas of the day, and its incredibly strong melodies. The aria When I Am Laid in Earth from the 1689 opera Dido and Aeneas is among the most popular songs from the entire Baroque era. Despite only living to age 36, Purcell's legacy was such that he became entrenched as England's most popular composer for not just decades, but centuries after the fact. Then we have Jonathan Keats, born the 7th of November 1946 in Paris. An English teacher and author with a special fixation on post-Commonwealth Europe, uh, Keats was most famous for his 1983 collection of short stories Allegro Postillions, as well as a 1985 biography of Handel called Handel, the Man and His Music. This Purcell book is only his second venture into pure musical writing, but like I talked about with Claire Tomlin's bio of Jane Austen, the source material is a bigger limitation than Keats' relative lack of experience. Keats definitely isn't displaying a wealth of musical knowledge. He approaches this from a kind of clinical historiographer's perspective more than anything else. But the fact is, in general, we don't know much about Henry Purcell. We don't even know the day he was born. The records are pretty scarce until he becomes a teenager and starts emerging as a musical talent. And even Purcell in the peak of his fame doesn't leave a super strong paper trail uh, for Keats to follow. The result is a book that is forced to meander a bit onto other matters because the historical record surrounding Purcell is so weak. Keats actually does a great job contextualizing Purcell's accomplishments and comparing him to other composers from the period, but when it comes to what Purcell actually did, Keats is forced to be pretty to the point. He spends a lot of time interjecting his own opinions and evaluations of Purcell's music, which is a bit of a pet peeve of mine, admittedly. Uh, it makes it feel more evident that the writer was trying to hit a page count, and uh, at nearly 300 pages, it's, it's a bit too much for me. Not a bad book by any stretch, and it's hard not to feel like Purcell deserves a proper full-length biography, but I just don't know if the material is there to warrant one. As it is, I can only recommend this book if you've sort of accepted that lack of source material and you just want to immerse yourself in the context of Purcell's world for a while. But that is it for now, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. More reviews and other videos to come. Please like and subscribe to the channel as I try to get this off the ground just that little bit more. And I will see you all later.